Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So for all your tea sipping needs, don't forget to go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. And we will also have our holiday gift baskets available in the next few days. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that option. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Hey guys, welcome to Lovely News Network and I hope you guys like the new setup. So anyways, I wanted to come on here and bring you guys some crazy stories from all over the damn country, okay? So this store we have, it's from Triflin, Texas. So what's going down is that we have two rappers. One is called NFL Bo and the other one is Maximo Cream. So what happened is that they decided to shoot a music video. They didn't have any permits, didn't ask anybody for permission. They decided to shoot this renegade music video near elementary school. School. They're out there with all these cameras, these lights, you know what I'm saying? The director yells, action! And all of a sudden, there's a plethora of gangbangers who show up. You see all these gangbangers, you see guns, you see drugs. Even some of the kids from the school ended up appearing in the music video. So a lot of parents were alarmed, like, who the hell are all these black men? They're near the school, they're walking around with guns. So they ended up calling the police, and when the police got there, half of them scattered like damn roaches, and the rest of them got arrested. If that's not bad enough, the ones who got away and scattered they would have been good until the person the two rappers who were involved in the music video they decided to still edit the video and put it on social media not realizing there'd be consequences behind them doing that okay so once they posted the video on social media the police were clearly able to id all of those people in that music video who were carrying guns and come to find out over 20 of them had either warrants or were on probation, had felonies, and had no business even being around firearms, let alone holding real firearms in a music video. So now because of this, 20 guys have been arrested, including the rappers, but one of the rappers, he got released on bail and now he skipped town. So this entire situation is a hot damn mess. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news story and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Two, rap video repercussions. This video now has millions of views and some of the people looking at it are Houston police officers. Those investigators say some of what they spotted are federal violations. That has led to arrest. Others are still wanted. Part of the video was shot in a community gathering place, Lakewood Park, right next to Hilliard Elementary. Phil Archer is live at the nearby police substation on Lay Road. He has a story only on two tonight. Phil? Yeah, and that park's only about a mile from this substation. Back in March, two rappers shooting a video in the park had a run-in with some of the officers. It led to a months-long investigation. The problem, their cast was made up of gang members using real guns, loaded guns, as props. Styling themselves as Maxo Cream and NFL Cartel Bow, the featured rappers chose Lakewood Park next to Hilliard Elementary School to shoot their video. They did it at about the same time school was letting out. Some of the kids actually got into the video. What also got in were about a dozen loaded guns, some of them stolen, that were being used for props. And the extras holding the guns, according to police, all documented street gang members. Some people driving by saw men with guns here on the basketball court and called police. When police showed up, some suspects with open warrants were arrested on the spot, but much of the cast ran, leaving behind the weapons and small amounts of drugs. Two months later, the video was released online, and it was a hit. It's gotten about two million views so far on YouTube. But it's also the tool police use to track down and identify everyone in the video who was holding a weapon. 20 have been charged with illegal possession of weapons, including rapper NFL Cartel Bo, also known as Warren Brown, a convicted felon. Brown was charged with illegally possessing two assault rifles and with threatening a police officer on the way to jail. He was released on bond in order to wear an ankle monitor. But police say he cut it off and disappeared. He's still on the run along with eight other suspects identified from the video, four of them on probation or parole, and one aspiring rapper, Kenyon, Tennessee, shown holding a child, is dead. Before he could be charged, Tennessee was killed last month, along with another man outside a West Side nightclub. Of the 20 facing state charges, 11 have also been charged in federal court, and police say some of them were already wanted for questioning in connection with other unrelated crimes. Reporting live in Northeast Houston, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News. All right, you guys, you guys just saw that news story. So like I said, this entire situation makes no sense. 
How many more people, you know what I'm saying? How many more struggle rappers do we have to see getting arrested because they're doing criminal activity on camera, okay? Just because you're shooting a music video does not excuse or make it okay for you to flash and carry guns, okay? And what people need to realize is that the police are watching social media. They're watching everything you put out there. And especially if you're on probation, if you have a felony, if you're out on parole, they should have been nowhere near this music video, let alone being in the music video, holding and brandishing weapons even though it wasn't a shootout situation even though it wasn't a situation where they were out there gang banging per se they were still in a music video around weapons and per their probation orders you cannot be around that type of stuff so this entire situation is crazy i hope more people learn from this people need to realize everything you put on social media can and will be used against you just like even now a lot of people who put certain things in their rap music we've done videos over the years where they've been arrested trialed and convicted convicted based on the lyrics in their music so you have to watch the things that you put out there you have to watch the things that you show the fact that the police busted up the music video two months ago and these guys still thought it was okay for them to edit it and post it online it just shows you how attention star we are as a society how everybody's not looking at the big picture they just want clicks views they want online notoriety they want to be seen as rappers and everything else not realizing that they all just committed a criminal offense so this entire situation is a hot damn mess, honey. But once again, I'm not surprised that it's coming from our second favorite state, trifling ass Texas. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about this entire trifling situation. Once again, coming from Texas. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.